Okay, um, I'm just going to go over another way, 7.3, on how to solve um, a product rule backwards. So, I'm just going to show you two problems, and this is just extended to so 7.3. So I showed you the tabular method already. I call it the tax full method. But there's another method that you need to know. And this is the actual formula that they use on all calculus. Tic tac toe is easier, but it doesn't work every time. Um, this one doesn't work every time. But this formula um, works every time. So, here's the formula. You integrate UDV, this is equal to U times V minus integrate VCU. So, I'm going to do, this is really important that you know this method out. So, these are the two methods. This one right here, I already taught you in the first part of 7.3. The second one, now I'm going to show you why you need to know how to do both of them. So, um, I know you don't understand this right now, but maybe when I do the next problem, here's my first problem. Um, I'm going to do this one. You're integrating x cosine of x dx. So, I'm going to let u equal the x. So this equals u, and this equals dv. Um, again, I can go back to the other screen, and I can show you that it's u dv. So you need to figure out which one is u, and which part is the dv part. So the u and the dv. So what you need to do every time you use this property is you need to have the u equals x, and the dv equals cosine of x dx. Okay, so for both of these, the u, I need to find the derivative of u. What's the derivative of x? 1. If I want to get du by itself, and I multiply both sides by dx, it ends up being dx. Now, dv divided by dx is the derivative. I need to go back to the integration. And what's the antiderivative of cosine of x dx? So I've got my u, I've got my du dx, or my du, I've got my d, d, and I've got my d. So the formula is, I'm going to write it down one more time, u dv equals, you multiply the u times the v, minus you integrate the v du. So, I'm just going to fill it in. The u is equal to x, and my v is equal to the sine of x, from up here. Minus, you integrate, the v is the sine of x, and du equals dx. Then, I'm going to write down x sine of x down again. And all I'm going to do is integrate the sine. What's the integration of the sine of x? It's a negative of a negative cosine of x plus x plus y. Um, I know you can do this by the tabular method too. I'm just going to show you the tabular method one more time. My f of x, my g of x. Remember, this is the derivative. It's just going to be integrating. Um, I'm going to let you look at the original problem. Where is my original problem? Right here. I'm going to let my f of x equal x, and I'm going to let my g of x equal cosine of x dx. And I take the derivative of x, it's 1. When I take the derivative of 1, it's 0. When I take the antiderivative of cosine of x, it makes the sine of x. When I take the antiderivative of sine of x, it makes the cosine of x. Again, 
this O. And here's the X sign of X, and that up there. And isn't a negative of a negative cosine of X, which is up there. So, in this case, I would do the tic tac method and not this formula. But in the next problem, there is no way you can do it by the tic tac method. So, I'm going to show you. Um, well, I'm going to do one more, not even using the tic tac method. So, let's do one more, and then I'll show you why you need to know how to do this method too. So you have x squared e to the x dx. And I know you can do this by the subtract method, but I'm not going to show it to you this way. I'm going to do this one. udd equals ub minus vdu. So, again, I'm going to start out letting u equals x squared. And I'm going to let this be the dv. Like right down here, the u and the dv. So my dv is equal to e to the x dx. Okay, I need to find the derivative, du dx equals 2x. So du equals 2x dx. So I've got this, and I've got this. So I'm going to do v. If that's the derivative, the antiderivative is d dx. So I've got d. Now I'm just going to use my formula. Um, this is equal to u times v. So these two multiplied together is x squared e to the x minus, and I'm going to integrate the v du. Well, the v is e to the x, and the du is 2x dx. Okay? I have to do it again because this is a product of two different things. So, I'm going to let u equal, um, it's up to you. I'm going to bring, I'm going to let u equal 2x. I'm going to let the dv equal e to the x dx. I'm going to let u dx equal 2, so du equal 2 dx. If d v equals d to the x dx, d must equal e to the x. Okay, now, my original problem was this, and I needed to integrate this, but it's made up of two things, so I have to use the separation to do it. So I have x squared d to the x as part of my answer, and then I have I have to do this formula, so what's my formula? I'm going to put a negative sign out in front. I need to do u times v minus the integration of v du. So this right here is this. And then what I'm doing is all of this. So i got to fill this in. x squared e to the x minus. My u and my v is going to end up being 2x e to the x minus, and then I'm going to integrate my v, my v is e to the x, but my du is 2 dx. Um, I'm going to take this bit out of the box. And now I can stop because my final answer is x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x minus 2, and now I'm down to just one term inside of my integral. And I can integrate my e to the x. So when I integrate my e to the x, um, it's e to the x plus b. And I made a mistake right here. A negative and a negative equals a positive. So the final answer. Yes, the tic tac toe method would be way easier. I'm just showing you the other way for a very good reason. Right here. Number three. is like number 17, or this is number 17 in the book. So I'm just going to do number 17 and walk through number 17 in the book. So the problem is you're going to integrate e to the x sine of x dx. I think that's the problem. Let me look one more time. 
So we're starting at p to the x sine of x dx. Okay, I'm just going to explain to you why the kit cat probe method isn't going to work. Looking at e to the x, do you notice that when you take the antiderivative or the derivative of it, it'll never go away? Okay, I want to go back to the first problem. When I did the kit cat probe method right here, at least one of the two that was given to you, at least one of the two that was given to you will slowly go away. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 1 is 0. So it goes away. Um, this one will just keep repeating itself. So, so the kit cat probe method only works if one of the two will somehow get down to the zero. Now, in this case, I'm showing you that the kit cat probe method doesn't work, and you kind of have to follow along very carefully as I do this problem. So, I'm going to switch it up, and I'm going to let you equal the sine of x, and I'm going to let dv equal e to the x dx. So I'm going to do that same formula. The formula is u dv equal uv minus v u. Okay, I'm going to follow this, and it looks like I'm going to do it twice. So, watch very carefully. I let u equal the sine of x by letting dv equal e to the x dx. So I'm going to come down here and say u equals the sine of x. The derivative of that is equal to the cosine of x. So du equals the cosine of x times dx. So I've got these two guys. Now I'm going to go over here and say, I know what my dv is. I gave my dv e to the x dx. I know what my dv is. It's just e to the x. Okay? So, I'm going to rewrite this using this formula right here. I'm going to multiply these two and the v together. I'm going to multiply these two together, um, which makes e to the x sine of x minus and then, I need to put the V and the DU together, where the V is E to the X, and the DU is the cosine of X to the X. Okay. As you can see, this is done, but I still have to integrate two different things. And if you have to integrate two different things, then you need to do it again. So I'm going to start again. I'm going to just do this part. I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to say u equals the cosine of x. This is the u part. This part right here is the dv part. So if the u is cosine of x, du dx equals a negative sine of x. So du equals a negative sine of x dx. Circle, circle. And you're thinking to yourself, this could go on and on and on forever. Going on and on and on forever because this is never ending and this is never ending. But there's a little shortcut that you need to see at the end that will end everything. Okay, my dv is going to equal e to the x dx. So my v equals e to the x, like in the last level. Okay, watch this. You're going to say going in a circle, but okay, so we have the original e to the x sine of x minus, okay, what I'm going to write down is this part by using that formula, and multiply these two together, and when I multiply those two together, I get e to the x cosine of x minus, and then I need to integrate the u dv, oh, not the u dv, the the VDU, sorry. The VDU, and what's the V? The V is E to the X. And the DU is the sine of X DX. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to the negative sign like that. So what I'm going to do is rewrite it. So we have E sine of X 
minor in the react whole time of that. You have a negative, and then you have a negative with the negative. You end up being a negative. Um, e to the x sign of x, yes. And I think you see yourself. You still got two different things, but here is the twist, and you got to really watch carefully. The original problem was this. Here's my original problem. This right here is my original problem. So if this is my original problem, I'm going to write it equal to that. I'm going to squeeze it in here. Um, the original problem was e to the x, I gotta look at it again, sine of x dx. And this is where it comes in handy. I know this is small, but doesn't this and this look identical to you? They're exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do is to get rid of that finally. I'm gonna bring this over to this side because we have the two of the same thing. So we really have two e to the x sine dx or sine of x dx equals e to the x sine of x minus e to the x All I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide everything by two, and that is my final answer. You need to keep going if it keeps repeating until the last thing at the end matches up with the first thing. And that's how you get rid of an indefinite integration.